For the first time in five years, overdose deaths in the United States have dropped. According to the CDC, the number fell last year, and we are seeing a similar trend here in Arkansas. Tonight, T311's T3 Brooke Buckner gives us a closer look at the reasons behind the promising decrease and the work still left to save a generation. My first reaction was, that's good, but... You know, we, we, we can't see these numbers decrease and think we're out of the woods. While the numbers show a step in the right direction in battling the ongoing drug death epidemic, Stacy James says this is not the time to let our guard down. In 2019, James lost her son to fentanyl poisoning. You lose a child, you, you want to learn everything you can about what killed them. She says that's what drives her passion to spread awareness, and she does it through Hope Movement Coalition, a group dedicated to support families with similar experiences. We want to get the word out about fentanyl. We want to be voices against stigma. Even though the data could still change, according to the CDC in 2023, there were an estimated 107,000 drug overdose deaths in the U.S., which is 3% lower than in 2022. Arkansas has also seen a decrease of about 13% from 2022 to 2023. Most Arkansans now realize that it's affecting their families and that they're dealing with it as a disease and not a moral failing. Kirk Lane with the Arkansas Opioid Recovery Partnership says that could be the reason why we're seeing fewer overdose deaths, but it involves more than a mindset shift. We're starting to expand that to cover those rural areas, and I think that's really important. Even though it's a positive trend, Lane and James agree there is still a lot more work to do. It's a uh, problem that we created, and only us collectively can solve it. It just added more fuel to my fire to do more, to be louder, and to do everything that I can to be a part of the solution. In Little Rock, Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Brooke, thank you. According to the CDC, Arkansas has the sixth largest percentage decrease in overdose deaths in the country. That's behind Indiana, Kansas, Maine, North Carolina, and Nebraska.